Okay, so it's another night and this is another farm. This one here is a broiler farm with birds used for meat. Their bodies are used for meat. So we're about to go in and have a look. It looks massive and let's go and see what's happening inside. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. Wow. There's thousands in here, man. Wow. There's gotta be over 50,000 birds in here. They're only babies. They don't look fully grown, but they're filling up the entire barn already. This is insane. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk through and see how many of these birds are in bad condition. They, I can already see it now. There's birds that are lying down lame. There's birds without feathers. They've been pecking each other. So let's just walk through together. See, already here, already here, there's a dead bird. I mean, we're not even four footsteps in. It's already a body here amongst the others. It's very common to see dead birds in sheds like this. Their legs have overgrown and they can't stand up properly. You know, they're all just, they're collapsing under their weight already and they don't even look that big. We're gonna walk straight through the center, nice and slow. There are so many in here, they've got hardly any space. So what I'm doing is I'm just trying to spot birds that are in bad condition. These birds, most of them have little feathers on their back. They, like most of them look really unwell. See here, this bird has deformed legs. See? So what happens is they are bred to grow so fast. Their feed, you know, they're selectively bred. Their antibiotics that they're given, they just blow up really quick. And that's what happens to their legs. They become deformed and they don't work properly. Their weight, they can't hold. You know, they're only infants. Like these are probably, I don't know, three, four weeks old. And they're already like overgrown. You know, their legs are already overgrown. So they're only like, little infants with overgrown bodies and they're only new to the world and they can't even use their bodies properly. They're like stuck in a broken body. So some of these birds have literally no feathers on them already, you know, before they even go to the slaughterhouse. Like that bird there is gonna be eaten by someone in the public. Someone is just gonna go grab a chicken burger and it's gonna be that bird there and they had no idea what that bird looked like while they were alive, what they lived through, you know? This place stinks. You can smell it from hundreds of meters away. As soon as you walk in there, there's this putrid smell of ammonia, and there's all these little baby faces, all different personalities, animals who are falling down over there. They can't hold their body weight up. They're, it's, they're suffering. They're suffering for their entire existence, which is not long, not long. 35 to 38 days or something like this. Incredibly sad. And chickens are the most eaten land animal on earth. Uh, something like 850 million chickens are slaughtered in the UK every year. It's insane. These poor birds. Look at this little baby here. This little baby is a lot smaller. Yeah, so all, these, all the birds just started flapping really hysterically. And I've noticed that the feeders have turned on and the birds all know that the feeders are on. So now they're all crowding around feeding. Now this little baby one behind me that we just looked at, they are, she, she looks so small, like a little runt. I don't think she's gonna be able to reach the water or the food even, like she'll probably die in here. 
or the farmer will cull them off because they don't see them as like, you know, just economically viable. They're just runts, they're not, they're not worth anything to the farmer, so the farmer might cull them off or they'll just die in here because they can't reach food and water. So the other night I was in a parent breeder facility where the, the males and the females fertilize the eggs. The eggs go to an uh, incubator where they hatch into chicks which then go to make up these sheds which are the meat producing chickens that people eat. And people say, well, I, I don't eat chickens out of places like this. Well, you know, statistically you do. 95% of the chickens eaten in the UK come out of intensive factory farms, massive ones like this. There are six sheds like this on this uh, particular property. There are sheds, mega farms like this all over the UK. And it's almost 100% certain you're eating chicken out of places like this. I mean, you just can't deny that. They definitely don't advertise chicken like this, how it really is. You know, the people that eat KFC should have to come in here and smell what this shed smells like, hey? They need to pump the smell from this shed into KFC so they can smell the ammonia, the feces. Oh, it's gross. So everywhere you look, there's injured birds, birds limping, you know, sick birds. It's overwhelming in here, like, you have the overriding urge to want to help them all, but the only way you can help them is by being vegan and asking others to do the same. Can't liberate 50,000 birds from a shed that is, that was had another 50,000 chicks in here next week. You know, it's just, an insane, massive, perpetual, systemic wheel of suffering and slaughter for human taste preferences. It's a massive injustice. All right, so there's another dead bird here. Uh, one of the chickens, has, they're stepping on the bird's face. If you're watching this from home and you eat chicken, you cause this suffering here. You're the cause of this suffering. This bird suffered to death on the floor here. And people like to talk about humane slaughter. Well, they fail to realize that millions of birds are dying in the sheds, you know, in the UK and they suffer to death on the floor and no one's there to help them. When you buy chicken products, animal products, you're supporting that, you've, you've funded this. So, this bird's death is on your hands. Everything that's going on in sheds like this, the blood is on the hands of the public who support it. And don't try to place blame on the farmers. I know the farmers, yeah, they shouldn't allow this to happen, but they only do this because you want to eat these products. You want to eat their dead bodies. You want to eat these poor little baby birds' dead bodies. And uh, I've been talking about this for years. I don't know when the world is going to wake up. How many more dead birds like this do you have to see? How many more? How much more suffering do you have to see? Do I have to walk every single one of you through sheds like this before you can realize and before you wake up? You know, when I say things like that, don't think that I uh, am innocent either. I supported places like this for years as well. If you don't like what's going on in here, if you're morally against what's going on in here, live vegan, okay? Stop contradicting yourself. You can't claim to care about issues like this while you support them with your other hand and while you're consuming body parts from these innocent beings, okay? Yeah, so as you can see, this is an example of a chicken who's finding it hard to stand up already and they're only three weeks into their life. They got ammonia burns. You see, this bird has ammonia burns on her back and her legs, they won't straighten. You know, they're born into these deformed bodies and uh, this bird's suffering and they'll probably suffer and die on this shed floor like the others who can't stand up, you know. It's just really sad. 
Like, and everywhere you look, there's birds like that, you know, everywhere you look. So if you just look at the sea of the birds and you might think to yourself, well, they all look the same, but then when you actually start focusing in on each individual, you can see they all have slightly different expressions on their faces. They all look different. They're all different sizes. They all move differently. They all have slightly different demeanors and personalities. Like, they're not all the same, you know? They might be the same species, but they're not the same individuals. They're all different individuals, just like human beings are. To me, they just look like little dinosaurs cruising around, but I mean, I think they're really adorable, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that they are sentient, conscious beings with capacity to experience both well-being and suffering, and they're experiencing the world around them. And they are born into this horrible prison situation where they are exposed to nothing but suffering and dead members of their flock, you know, just crowding conditions and the pecking order just must be messed up in here. They don't, it's just it's too many birds in here. They'll be fighting over food and uh, ammonia burns. It's just a horrible, unnatural situation. Uh, it's a tragedy and uh, human beings cause it. We should be ashamed of ourselves, really. There are so many deformed birds in here, like the beaks, necks deformed, feet deformed. Like, I've never seen a beak deformed like that last bird. Like, there's just so many unique deformities and, you know, just injuries and it's, it's so horrible. Like, people will, will eat. Each bird that you see that doesn't essentially die on the floor here, will be eaten by someone or some one of these individuals will be eaten by an individual that's watching this from home who eats chicken um it's it sickens me i don't know how people do it like i used to do it because i was disconnected but there's enough of this stuff online there's enough footage from factory farms like this online how can you see this how can you see this suffering these beings and still eat them i just don't i don't understand that psychology i just Shouldn't this turn you off? Like when you're biting into the leg of a bird, look at the tendons, look at the veins, look at the blood, look at the bone. Just notice all those features of that meat that was torn from the body of a murdered animal. You know? You're eating their tendons and blood and muscle. That didn't belong to you. That belonged to one of these beings here. It's okay. Okay, darling. Okay, baby. They're only little babies, eh? Like, it's okay. They're only little baby chicks. Still curious. Okay, so just walk through this absolute mayhem again. You know, just filled with beautiful birds suffering four weeks old or something like this. It's just incredible tragedy, very saddening, maddening, because uh, we have to walk out those doors now and you know leave 50,000 birds in here and another five other sheds in this property. So the goal of this series is to just show the standard for UK farming. Um, we want to show birds, we want to show other animals too, but we're just trying to show the public like, hey, you know, these farms exist you're eating out of them. They make up the vast majority of the farms that you're eating out of, especially when it comes to chickens. Most of them are intensively farmed. So please, look, I know I repeat myself a lot, but go vegan, live a vegan lifestyle, boycott this madness, stop supporting industries that I know you're morally against in your heart. If you hate seeing these birds be treated like this, only to be cut up and served on your dinner table, then please just look, Choose a vegan lifestyle, it's really easy these days, especially in the UK, but other parts of the world as well. Choose vegan options, end this madness, the power's in your hands.